Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn the basics of embedded C. Let's get started. So first of all, let's differentiate the C language with embedded C language. So the major difference is, so in our C language, the outputs can be visualized only on your computer monitor and in our embedded systems that is an embedded C we can visualize physically the hardware as well as the output from your program and the second main thing is that in your C language we will be having the memory of the computer that you are working on so all the memory that is available in the hard disk of your computer can be taken as the memory for your program and also regarding the data memory that is nothing but RAM, the RAM of the PC can be directly allotted for this C language. But in case of embedded C, the memory is limited. That is, if you take a microcontroller which is having a 8 kilobytes of ROM, that is nothing but program memory, you can write program of up to only 8 kilobytes. So if you want to write more program, you just want to go to another microcontroller respectively. The same case is also applicable for data memory. So microcontrollers will be having a particular RAM value. Let's say 368 bytes, 128 bytes, 1 kilobytes. So that is also limited to the microcontroller. So you just want to choose the microcontroller properly for writing the sufficient program in the memory. So this is the basic difference between C and embedded C. So the first and foremost thing that you want to study in embedded C is data conversion especially this binary to hexadecimal conversion so here you can see in this table on the left we are having binary data and on the right we are having corresponding hexadecimal data for the binary data so 0000 is 0 in hexadecimal 0001 is 1 in hexadecimal and it goes on like this and when you reach 9 that is 1001 is 9 in hexadecimal and 1010 is not 10 in hexadecimal instead we are having a so it goes on like this and we will be having f for double one double one so you can see from this table four bits of binary data can be represented as a single bit in hexadecimal data so you just want to learn this table because this is very essential for all the microcontrollers that you are going to learn so you can see this is the basic structure of register of a microcontroller so our microcontroller will be made up of many registers and this is the basic structure so this register is a structure of 8 bit register so if you take any 8 bit microcontroller all the sfr special function register gpr general purpose registers will be in this format so it will be starting from 0 and it will be ending at 7 it is having 8 bits of memory which is nothing but one byte of memory and if you take a 16 bit microcontroller those microcontroller registers will be in this format so all the registers of that microcontroller will be 16 bit wide that is 2 bytes wide so it will be starting from 0 and it will be ending at 15 so in this you can find that the lower most bits that is if you take this 8 bit register and if you divide it into 2, the lower most bits 0, 1, 2, 3 are known as LSB. That is nothing but least significant bits. And this bit 4, 5, 6, 7 are known as MSBs, which is nothing but most significant bits. And the same is for 16 bit register also. You can divide this 16 bit register into 2 so that the bits starting from 0 to 7 are known as least significant bits. And the bits from 8 to 15 are known as MSPs. That is nothing but most significant bits. So now you just assume that in a microcontroller, in a 8 bit microcontroller, we are having a register named Reg1, which is located at 0x80. So the microcontroller that we are assuming is 8 bit microcontroller. And in that microcontroller, we are assuming that we are having a register named Reg1 which is located at 0x80. Register is a 8 bit wide register starting from 0 bit to 7th bit. Now 
If I say the register is located at 0x80, that means this 0th bit is located at 0x80, which is nothing but register bit 0. And first bit is located at 0x81, which is register 1, bit 1. And it goes on like this, and this 7th bit is located at 0x87 address, and this is the register 1, bit 7. So, in this register 1, for all the individual bits, I can write two values. That is, for this individual bit, I can write either 1 or 0. Like that, for all the bits individually, we can write only two different values. That is nothing but 1 or 0. We can make it 1 or we can make it 0. So, there are only two options available for the individual bits in this register. Let's take, if I want to write 1 to this bit 2, 4 and 7. I can directly go to this address 0x82, 0x84, 0x87 and I can write 1 to it. That is nothing but I can define these address in my program that is 0x82, 84, 87 as register bit 4, bit 2 and bit 7 and I can directly write 1 to this individual bits. So that I am just making the particular bits 1. So now when I make all these 3 bits 1, my register value will be like this, right? 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is method 1 where you can individually access the bits of the register and you can write 1 or 0 to it. So this method is not applicable in almost all the microcontrollers but some microcontrollers like 8051 microcontroller you can do this because we are having 16 bytes of bit addressable registers in 8051 architecture we can do that in 8051 but if you take other microcontrollers like PIC AVR you cannot do this so this is called method 1 which is nothing but bit accessing method where you are accessing individual bits and you are writing 1 or 0 to it. So this method cannot be applicable for all the microcontrollers. So we can see the method 2 where you will be writing a byte of value to the register. So now let's take the same example if I want to make the bit 4 217 as 1 and rest all the bits as 0. I can write 1 byte of hexadecimal data or 8 bits of hexadecimal data to this address 0x80. So we know that this register 1 is located at 0x80. So I am going to the location 0x80 and I am going to write 1 byte of hexadecimal data that is nothing but 1001100. So this is 8 bits of binary data and from our previous table of binary to hexadecimal let's try to convert this 8 bit data into hexadecimal value that is equivalent hexadecimal value so this is msb of data and this one is lsb of data as i said before now you can see from the table 0100 is nothing but 4 and 1001 is nothing but 9 so i can write the hexadecimal value to be 0x94 so you can see this is the format of writing hexadecimal value in any embedded C program that is 0x means hexadecimal data and rest is the value of the hexadecimal data that is 9 and 4. So now what I can do is I can define this address 0x80 and I can write reg1 equal to 0x94 so that the 1001 0100 will be written to this register in this format starting from 0x80. So this is the method of writing byte to the register in a microcontroller and this is method 2.